We're finally getting a closer look at a traffic study for the proposed Chick-fil-A in Ocean Way that's received a lot of pushback from neighbors. For many of them, traffic is the big concern. A developer wants to build the restaurant across from First Coast High School and use the front entrance of the North Creek subdivision as an access road. News for Jackson reporter Ariel Schiller has been following this story for months and explains what the study says. Ariel? Yeah, I got this traffic study through a records request from the city of Jacksonville. It's 600 pages long and it has a lot of data and graphs that are hard to understand without a traffic engineering background. People who live in the North Creek subdivision wanted this traffic study before the rezoning was approved. Many of the neighbors I've talked to are against a high volume business being built in that space. Nearly two months ago, the Land Use and Zoning Committee decided to order this traffic study before deciding on the rezoning that would allow for this Chick-fil-A to be built. The executive summary of the traffic study says that based on data from six Chick-fil-A locations in Jacksonville, the restaurant is projected to generate 294 trips during the a.m. peak hour, 468 trips during the midday peak hour, and 316 trips during the p.m. peak hour. Despite those numbers, the study says the findings of the analysis show the addition of projected traffic will have a minimal impact on traffic operations and says for 2026 build conditions, intersections will continue to operate at the same overall levels of service when compared to 2026 no build conditions. It also says both site driveways will operate satisfactorily during the a.m. and p.m. peak hours for both for 2026 build conditions. Back in February, Ocean Way residents demonstrated what they believe traffic would look like if a new Chick-fil-A is built. It took about five minutes of doing that simulation before traffic started backing up to Lady Lake Road. The study also found a traffic signal was not needed at the intersection of Duval Station Road and Bradley Cove Road near First Coast High School. I'm trying to set up an interview with a city traffic engineer to explain this traffic study. I was told an interview wouldn't be possible today. I'm waiting for a response on if an interview is possible later this week. The next hearing for the proposed Chick-fil-A will center around this traffic study and is happening April 16th. Reporting live in the studio, Ariel Schiller, Channel 4, The Local Station. Ariel, 